Okay, Charlie, why don't you tell them about uh, this uh, sign that we made and the helmet holder. So this is the helmet holder that will hold a uh, virtual reality helmet. And <coughs> what we did is we, we uh, my dad went to work and we, we cut out these holders so it could hold the helmet and then... Well, these are printed. These were 3D printed. Well, yeah, they were 3D printed. Mm -hmm. And he cut out this with the CNC machine. The shape oko. Yeah, and he cut <laughs> this out, same with that. Mm -hmm. And then he sanded the sides. And then he had some lights. He put, he, he, um, he used that and he plugged them in with this cord. He put it in there and he, um, hot glued this. Mm -hmm. And then he put those lights down. And then he put the, um, hot glue right there. And then he, he put that on, and then... Well, once, this was super glue in here. Oh, yeah, it was yeah, super glue. glue. Yeah, was this super is glue. hot glue. Yeah, that's hot glue, and that's mm -hmm. super glue. Mm -hmm. And um, it's supposed to light up when you put it... Yeah, what is this that we made the sign out of? Oh, it's um plastic? It's called acrylic. Yeah, acrylic. Yeah. So this, uh, you, you can't <laughs> use any acrylic. You have to use... Um, uh, I guess what they call it, cast acrylic, not extruded acrylic. I think, I've, hopefully I got that right. But the, the acrylic they sell at, uh, at Inventables machines really well. Obviously, they want to make sure they sell the right stuff. So, um, you want to go ahead and plug it in? Mm -hmm. Here, we need a power plug. Okay. So... EV2, this is a, a facility uh, uh, at NASA that uh, simulates some EVAs. There's a few facilities that do that, and uh, this is a science facility. And so we wanted to, the EV1 and EV2 crew members are the two crew members out doing EVAs. That's what they call them, EV1 and EV2. So we wanted to hang up the Oculus helmet, the DK2, for each um, station, EV1 and EV2. And that's what these are. And so this is a 90 degree V-bit in the acrylic and machined, I think, at 50 inches a minute. I used F engrave for all the V-carving. And then I used easel, uh, the Inventables easel software, to carve out this little pattern to put the acrylic in and also run the lights and the wire. So hopefully that helps someone or inspires someone to make a light up sign. It's really easy. You buy that uh, light strip and this light strip you can get on Amazon. And this one is the, uh, it's a waterproof light strip, which means it has like a rubber coating over them. Obviously I'm not doing anything in water, but the reason I wanted that is I wanted the acrylic to sit right down on top of it and not have to worry about building a shelf for it to sit on. And I wanted it to be very close and um, go straight on top of the LEDs. So that little coating on top of the uh, LEDs lets the acrylic just sit all the way down on top of it and not harm them or hit the circuit or anything. So anyway, hope that helps someone or maybe inspires you to make your own sign.